160 meters was. There's the coax in for the 160 meter antenna. There's our generator over there. Here's one radio station in here. And here's Beverly sitting there. And we had coax run in here. This is kind of after the fact, but this is the way it is. We were too busy during the field day. So now we're going to go down here. Here was where they camped. Beverly camped out here. Here is an antenna, temporary antenna run to the clothesline poles. This is 15, 20, and 40 meters, and 12 and 17 meters on that antenna. That's tied up over there like that. I'm going to go down here on the creek in a minute where they camped. <coughs> you can see the antenna tied up off there. We have another antenna, the 160 meter antenna. Maybe, if it's still there. It's tied up on that antenna on one end. I worked 160 meters from the mobile before we put it in the house. So here was a 160 meter mobile. That antenna was uh, resonant at 1875, 1.875. It goes up over there and comes back down this way. If you can see it coming there, that's 160 meters. There's a 160 meter mobile. And these are some of our towers here. Donald Brewer, if you're listening over there on this update. <laughs> and here was the tower out here in front. And we had a sign out here in front that said Bishop Amateur Radio Club which is blown down through the uh, <coughs> there's the 160 meter antenna we had ham test here and we had the VE test down on the creek at this picnic table and I think I'll walk down there and let you take a look at that. And there's our antennas also, of course. We'll go down here. They're tearing out down on the creek. We got a canopy down there and bubble tents and all kinds of stuff. garage was a pretty good kind of a, a restaurant area I guess where we ate and we had the uh, barbecue pit out on the patio in the guest house with a restroom and all of that we're walking down here by the creek uh, most of the people slept down by the creek we had, I think we gave six or seven ham tests, something like that. The creek is running briskly this morning. This is where our test sessions took place, some of them, and some of them in the, in the shop, the garage. We were busy, that's for sure. along here looking at the uh, rock back out of the road and want to run over it with a lawnmower. The gophers have tried to eat that thing up so many times. I keep tying it up and hoping it's going to live. It's looking okay. No 
plums this year on that tree. Get down here, we had a Rome 25 was standing up against the tree down here with antennas off of it. I gotta take down the 160 meter, the 15, 20, and 40, and all the other ones. We're coming along the creek. We had visitors all along here. Here we come up to the the one site, and everybody's tearing everything out now, so it's not like it was. And it looks like we've still got a bubble tent up. Of course, all this area here, they had uh, ropes and antennas tied in all kinds of trees here, as you can see. There's John's little vehicle there. And he slept in the back of that at night time. Here's another radio station down here. There's a Rome Tower there. Standing up against the tree. And there's Bill. Hey, Bill. Bill, we're photographing you. Oh, good. Where is John? I hope you got a strong camera lens. Yeah. John is up there. Okay, John is up there. Okay. I see him coming back down this way. You can look back at the antennas and the towers and stuff. Well, we strung antennas up between everything you can think of. Even got a barrel down here for antenna mount. And there's some of the other antennas. Coming down. Yeah. All right, there's antennas and power supplies and everything here. Watt meters and Johnson Viking matchboxes. That is a cool toy, that old Johnson Viking oh, that's, tuner. They're, they don't make them that good now. <laughs> anyway, we're all down here. We've got all kinds of stuff here. Got junk everywhere. Yeah. Anyway, there's, as you can see, the antennas tied up every which direction with PVC poles and all kinds of stuff. Well, I guess you slept good sleeping next to the water, didn't you? Best sleep I've had in a month. Tent included. Best sleep I've had in a month. Yeah. We didn't have a fire, did we? We never had time to do that. Never did it. We did fireworks, though. Yeah. All right. And there's the tower tied into the tree. And looks like John's got rope that he's taken up from the generator. And all of that, we didn't want to move the generator all over the place. And of course, we got a view of White Mountains. Boundary Peak, we got fresh snow the other day on there. It was really snowed up pretty good. I will go up this way. Hey, hi, John. Hello, Jim. <laughs> All right, your own, uh, your own candid camera. I didn't quite get everything done. I mean, of course, we didn't get everything as it was set up, but I kind of showed what was going on. Bill said this is the best night's sleep he's had in a month. That's what he said. By the creek there. How about you, John? Yeah, I did fine. Yeah. Did you like listening to the water running all night? Uh, it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah, mostly I, I didn't care. I was sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> that brook. I haven't uh, seen one mosquito. By the way, you did see one? No. None. We don't have our mosquitoes and, and no fleas, by the way. No, I didn't we were, get a flea. Well, you, yeah, you got a flea yesterday. from the dog yesterday, probably. We were capable of running 10 meters, 12 meters, 15 meters, 17 meters, 30, but we didn't work 30, 40, and 75 meters, we could even done 50 meters with the antennas that we had, and 160 meters. And I did make one 160 meter mobile. Oh yes, I forgot to get. Yeah. Yes. 
I gotta go get that one on on there also. <sighs> I've got to get that one. What antenna was that one? I think that was 20. That one was 20 meters. Okay. Well, we had 20 meters duplicated several times. Yeah. Even 160 meter mobile. That would have been fine with the. Uh, you know, a vehicle with a mobile in it to pull up under that. And oh, well, I did. Oh, you mean over there? That one yeah. There. Mm -hmm. That's what I did with 160 meters until we moved it in the shop. All right, I got to go down and get that antenna also. Here we go. I forgot about this other antenna. This is a pretty good field day site, I think. Let's throw these rocks out of the way. There was one more 20 meter antenna right there. And lizards. There's the 20 meter antenna. Right there. Looking back at this site and the antenna sites up there. We had a good field day. We did not make a lot of contacts. I think I did between 100 and 200 myself, but I didn't have time to work. And everybody else was just visiting and having a good time and sleeping and eating. We had uh, supper last night at midnight. On the patio up there, if you can see that, we have a barbecue pit. And that was a pretty good stove. I cooked about four or five gallons of uh, pinto beans and chili and they really enjoyed that a lot they'll probably eat more of them today so this was our field day 2000 See, they've been dragging stuff all up and down through here. Of course, Beverly is in a wheelchair type thing. And she was all over this place in that wheelchair. And Bill was here. He had to do an uh, air conditioning job for KI7YDL. His air conditioning had been out over a week. And Bill brought over a compressor and a whole new system and put that in his house yesterday and the day before I helped him set the compressor up on the pedestal and so we we not only did a lot of uh, ham radioing actually less ham radioing but we did other things we did a lot of uh, visiting so this was Field A, our call sign was K7 Delta, 3 Alpha, Nevada. And as you can see, we still got to bring out all these temporary antennas from all over the place. <clears throat> and there was our kind of kitchen with a barbecue pit and everything. Temporary antennas hooked on to everything that you can think of. <clears throat> Beverly's bedroom out here. And I'll show you. This is the guest house, 
And the bathroom to the guest house. Microwave. And here we are back again. And like I said, there's our generator. We had a lot of radials. Another the well house, which is also a radio room. Looking out this way. Both directions. It was a lot of work rigging up all these antennas. Thank you for watching our video.